Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Today I wanted to talk to you about an exciting new addition to the TT fishing range of jig heads, and that is the TT Headlocks Finesse UV Painted Jig Head Range. So there's a few colors in the range, but before we talk about the colors, why they've been added and, and how we might use those colors, let's have a quick look at the build on this jig head. So this is one of the most popular jig heads in Australia. It is super popular amongst tournament brim anglers and anglers that are fishing finesse applications. So species such as trout, redfin, bass, flathead, brim, a lot of those species where you want that finer gauge, really super sticky, chemically sharpened hook, this is your go-to jig head. So this is the Headlocks Finesse jig head. We do it in an unpainted version as well in a, in a big range of sizes and also now in this Finesse UV painted range. So firstly, Across the range of TT jig heads, you'll find that they're built on different brands of hooks. The reason being, rather than stick with you know one cheap brand of hook or something across all our jig heads, we will use the right hook for the job, for the application. For example, like Headlocks HD is built on a brutally strong mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook that's designed for stopping big fish. In this case here, we're all about penetration on light lines and with light drag settings. So in this case, we've selected a Gamakatsu hook. So this Gamakatsu black nickel chemically sharpened hook is super sticky. So even with those light drags and light lines, you can pin those fish, a lot of big brim hooked in the lips and those sorts of things. So that hook is designed for maximum penetration. In terms of the other build on the jig head here, we've got that headlock keeper. So your headlock keeper is designed to lock your soft plastic in place uh, without damaging or tearing the plastic. It's not, it's not extremely aggressive, but it is designed to lock that plastic in place and hold it while you're fishing. Head design as well, you'll see flat sides on the head of this jig head. Those flat sides increase water flow along the side of the jig head and that also increases movement then, so it's a maximum action. So flat sides on the head increases water flow, increases action in the tail of the plastic. So that's a few simple things in the design of this jig head. Those flat sides I also find are really cool when the plastic's swimming in the water. If you've got a bit of sun in that, the sides of the head will actually catch a bit of light as it swims, and that also looks really cool in the water and attracts a lot of strikes as well. So, <clears throat> exciting new addition, the Headlocks Finesse UV Painted Range. So, firstly, UV. We know that UV fish have the ability to see UV light. UV light reacts with these jig heads so you'll find like our bright orange loads and loads of pop in that bright orange whereas our other colors more subtle uv and that's because we want to be able to use that jig head with a non-uv reactive plastic so that we can get a nice subtle presentation with that bit of uv pop around the head but then we can also fully pimp it up and put a uv plastic on there and go for absolute bling absolute pimping if we want to as well so four colors across the range and a range of sizes as well. So initially in all of those finesse sizes that we love for brim fishing and also those other finesse applications. So we've got a 1 20th in a two and a one, a 1 16th in a two and a one. We've got a 1 12th in a two, one and a one oh, and a 1 8th in a two, one and a one oh. So that pretty much covers you where your 1 20th and your 1 16th are very popular in the canal systems and around the mangrove edges and that sort of higher structure where we want that slow fall through to your shallow flats fishing and that sort of thing. We then step up to a 1 12th, which allows us to fish those deeper flats and a little bit deeper in the water column, and then through to a 1 8th for that deeper brim bite, uh, bottom of rock walls, uh, river entrances, and all that sort of thing where we might fish that 1 8th in a bit more water. <clears throat> so we're covered there for weights and hook sizes. Those hook sizes 2, 1 and 1 oh, will pretty much cover from the Z-Man Micro Finesse range through the two inch and two and a half inch plastics that are very popular for that finesse fishing. And then also into our summer, some of our larger models that you, anglers often rig with a larger jig head as well as like an upsized plastic, like a Z-Man 3.75 inch streaks as well. So in terms of colors, four colors, brilliant colors in the range. These have been worked on in conjunction with our pro team and also hardcore tournament anglers to get a selection of colors that you guys are gonna use and you're gonna love. So from the start, I'll go with the black. So a black head with a bit of UV pop on it. Beautiful for creating silhouette in the water, fishing dirty water, low light conditions like early morning and late afternoon. That black head is gonna provide us with a great silhouette while we've got that UV pop as well to attract fish to come and have a look and trigger those strikes as well. So that's gonna be brilliant on some of your darker plastics like there it is there on a 
gold rush coloured Z-Man 2.5 inch slim swims. So that black head with that black plastic and that gold belly is beautiful. It's also gonna be great with a two and a half inch grubs in black, but you can basically pair it up with any of your soft, darker soft plastics for fishing that darker water, dirty water, low light conditions, but also mix it up as well. You might just use a darker head as a contrast on some of your lighter plastics as well. So that is the black UV. This has already become a favorite for a lot of guys. This is the Bloodworm UV, so it's a brownie color. So it matches perfectly with the Bloodworm colored soft plastic, looks brilliant, very, very natural in the water. And the Bloodworm is not UV. So if you're looking for an awesome non-UV, subtle UV presentation, that Bloodworm plastic with this slight UV pop in the head of this Jig head is going to be brilliant. It's going to give you that enough UV just to stir up a bit of interest and get the fish looking. So you could rig that with the bloodworm, or if you really want to pump it up and UV it up a bit, it also looks brilliant with that blood oil color as well. So blood oil there. It's going to be great with pumpkin, any of those brownie sort of colors, gudgeon. It's going to look really good with those colors. Uh, look very, very natural. Again, otherwise you can use it to contrast as well. And then our motor oil, you couldn't have motor oil plastics without a motor oil jig head. So this, whereas the blood worm is a brownie color, this is a greeny color. So a lot of a lot of brim fishing that we do is with natural colored plastics. So we've got our black, we've got our brown, we've got our green. So that'll, that'll match really well with any of the greeny color sort of plastics. Looks brilliant with a motor oil plastic. So that's with a motor oil. And then of course the rest of the oil family as well. So motor oil, blood oil, dirty oil, midnight oil, all look great on that motor oil head. And in the water, just like the motor oil plastic with that, as soon as you put it in the water, you get that pop, that greeny pop off the plastic. It's the same with this head. This head goes in the water, that green really pops in the light, and you've also got that UV element on there as well. So that motor oil colored head is gonna be brilliant with all of the oil colored plastics, but also, you know, your watermelon reds, any of your greeny sort of plastics as well. Um, and also just as a contrast head as well, if you wanna use it to contrast other plastics. The fourth color, so those first three are very natural, subtle UV type colors in those heads. And then the fourth one is our outright UV popper, and that is an orange. And that's a really, really nice orange color in that orange. So that's orange UV. Straight away, as soon as I saw that orange, I was like, boom, that is gonna be dynamite with a greasy prawn plastic as a yabby. So for me, straight away over the yabby beds and that sort of thing, that is gonna be brilliant for brim and flatties and grunter and all sorts of things. So I've paired it up there, orange head, greasy prawn, and that's gonna look brilliant over the yabby beds. Greasy prawn, same with you know, two and a half inch grubs, it'd be brilliant. But that orange is designed as your real UV pop, um, aggressive feeding fish, or just changing things up to try and get a bite when it's not happening. It'll also be great in deep water, dirty water, low light conditions as well with that bright orange pop. So there you go. That is the Headlocks Finesse UV Painted Jig Heads range. Make sure you check it out. They are gonna be dynamite. I've got some here to play with, so stay tuned for some videos fishing those. I've only had one little session on the finished product so far uh, with my wife Sharon. We whacked a bunch of brim and also a nice little Trev as well. So that'll probably pop up somewhere that video, but I've got a few more videos planned for these. So there you go. Quality Gamakatsu Black Nickel Chemically Sharpened Hook. Headlock keeper to secure your plastic in place. We've got that unique head design of that Headlock's finesse. And now we've got four colors with a UV pop to bring them in and get them biting. Righto, get out there, get stuck into them. Cheers.